How would you describe Victor Hovland to someone who has never met him? <laughs> it's a good mix. A little weird, <laughs> funky, <laughs> uh, but in a good way. Very uh, inquisitive. He likes to go down rabbit holes about all sorts of different things. It's not unusual for Victor to drive two and a half hours to see this archaeological site because he's read about it. Um, this year, he was he was really into astrology, and he had like you know the, the stars app. He just looking up like with his phone. Oh, like aliens and stuff. We've talked about aliens, yeah, conspiracies, and all that sort of stuff. I wouldn't go so far to say he's a conspiracy theorist, but he's uh, he's a different sort of cat at times. But um, it's what makes him unique. It's what draws people to him. He's authentic. The world's a lot more exciting than we think. We're so used to having the same old boring conversations, so when you throw something that at people, you can see how their wheels are turning. I think it's uh, just kind of interesting. There was no better place to foster Hovland's curiosity than growing up in Oslo, Norway with its six-month golf season and five hours of daylight in the winter that left ample time for exploration and experimentation. My dad's an engineer. We would have good discussions in the family house. The culture in Norway, it's not bad to say, hey, I don't know, but let's find out. Like, that's, that's fun, instead of pretending that you know everything. And also, they had this indoor facility. I'd be there every day just hitting balls, a lot of swing work. He spent a lot of time at the golf club. Result-wise, he didn't stick his head out compared to the other guys. He challenged us and asked us questions. His ability to filter out what he thought was sensible, what he thought was crap, and then he threw that away and went on doing uh, the work with what he believed in. The athlete has own, his own process. So Victor is that, was that kind of athlete that really listened to a lot of people, but he managed to prioritize what's important for him. After the first year, you saw that there was something more than just a good golfer. I'm very proud of the fact that I always got a little bit better every single year. It doesn't matter how far or how high you start, but if you keep improving all the time, you're eventually going to climb the ladder pretty high. Victor Hovland is the U.S. amateur champion, the first from Norway. As a self-described chubby teenager, Hovland studied how to become a lean, mean, fat-burning Norwegian machine. Streaky with his putter, he learned aim point to aid his green reading skills. But his greatest breakthrough came when he finally addressed his woeful short game. 230th in strokes gained around the green. That was a cold shank. I just suck at chipping. <laughs> Instead of kind of thinking, man, this is hard and this sucks, constantly try to problem solve and, and, and think about, okay, well, there's there's always an answer to it, so let's try to figure out what that answer is, and um, hopefully by the end of that, you've, you've learned a lot about yourself, and, and uh, next time you're in that spot, you can fix it a lot quicker. The incredible thing is that he, he says, ah, I think I want to become a better putter, and then he just goes and does it, and then he says, I need to take care of my short game, and he just becomes better. If you try to become a better golfer at almost whatever level, uh, it's not that easy. Uh, and he makes it look that easy. He's very curious on how to get better. He's more process-driven than he is results-driven. And we all like results and we all like good finishes and wins and all that, but it's so important that you focus on the process of how to get better. A trustworthy short game was the key to unlocking Hovland's massive potential. A three-win 2023. Victor Hovland at his absolute best. A FedEx Cup title. And he's a phenom. The starring role in Rome as Europe won back the Ryder Cup. Look at that. That's why he used the wedge. Victor is affable. He loves to have a laugh. But when it's time to get down to business or compete, there's an edge to Victor that I don't think a lot of people see. That's something that I really like about him because, you know, he's able to play both of those roles really well. Victor is such a strong competitor with a lot of belief in himself and a lot of fire as well. He's a fantastic combination of being a really nice person with the right amount of fire that will drive him in competition. He's always deep in thought. He loves golf. He's very passionate about being as good as he can be. He loves to learn everything about the game. 
I'm very curious. I want to get better. I want to improve. And I like asking questions and turning over every single stone there is. That just makes you more confident in yourself. I just find excitement from growing.